this is Ibrahim speaking and today I want to show you a quick Photoshop trick. I often post pictures on my blog, whether it's to follow an article or just the plain pictures that I post and uh, I've been meaning to post some pictures recently and uh, I looked at the quality of the image I got, it was really bad. I took these pictures from my phone, uh, it was a long time ago, but uh, I wanted to reuse these uh, pictures but unfortunately they were not very clear so they're not very appealing so I want them to, I want to make them look better. I'm gonna use Photoshop CS2 for this trick and uh, let's get started. Alright, so I'm gonna open my copy on Photoshop and let's get started. All I'm gonna do is start by adding an adjustment layer, sorry, adjustment layer, the curves adjustment layer. Uh, and what this does is just uh, to modify the image without destroying the original. So what I'm gonna do is increase the, like add a little bit of construct and in increase the Make, make it brighter and this is the important part where I change the red and, and the greens to make to, to get rid of that blue tone the blue tone is something that was added by the phone and uh, the moment I took this picture I was kind of struggling I'll give you a link to that so you can see what happened um, so I didn't have time to go to the settings and change the white balance so all I had to do was grab my phone and take a picture so it wasn't the optimum con conditions so here as you can see, all I'm doing is changing the, uh, the RGB curve, changing the red, the greens, uh, increasing the light, and uh, just this is enough to make your pictures better. Especially if you take it, take it from a low quality phone, like the, the one I used. There you go, you can see already there is a big difference. It's not just brightness, but the blue is... Uh, there's less blues now, because uh, the, on the original image it feels like it was really cold. And it's true, it was cold and uh, there was snow, but it was a little exact. This, the phone makes a little exaggerated uh, um, effect. So here what I'm gonna do is uh, just uh, try to brighten the image. Like if I just did this, uh, of course it looks bad, but uh, I'm experimenting. I'm experimenting with different tools, uh, different uh, blend mode. And uh, if I find one that I like, it um, doesn't necessarily mean I'll leave it as is, because here the contrast is really... I mean, there's just so much contrast. Um, what I did was add the effect first, and then I add the mask layer, and uh, try to tone down on the parts that I don't want to be too bright. For example, I want the, the snow in the bottom to be, uh, to be bright, but not too much. And uh, I like I don't want the trees and uh, the sky to be affected as much either. So I take the black brush, brush and start brushing away the, the on, on the mask layer. And once I'm done, it doesn't mean I'm gonna leave it like this either. I also decrease the opacity. The next thing I'm doing here is adding some sort of vignette. It's not your traditional vignette. It's just white, just to capture that effect of the snow. Um, so basically, I use the ellipse tool, selected it, inverted it. Then I'm gonna use the bucket to drop paint over it, white paint. And the next thing I do is use a go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And I add this nice effect. Of course I'm not gonna leave it like that, I always decrease it. Uh, first change the blend mode and then decrease the opacity. That's the thing, these kind of effects are not something that you want to, want to be obvious. Uh, you want to just put a little bit of it, so I always uh, tone down the, the uh, opacity once I put these effects. That's it really, we already have a huge improvement. Um, there's a uh, you can see the before and after, and I'll try to make that look a little better. As you can see, this is not a simp a simply brightening the image, it's changing the colors. It makes it look better. Um, here's the before and after, and uh, yeah, that's it. It looks much better. Every picture I take, at least if it's from a crappy phone, I have to go through and do these corrections to make to capture the mood of the moment I took the picture because uh, you know sometimes you have no choice you have to take a picture with the camera you have that's it this was our Photoshop trick using the curve tool and I hope you learn a few things thank you for watching and don't forget to leave that thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe so you can see more videos like these all right I'm out